My name is Rudy Atala. I'm a retired Air Force pilot and special operator. I was born and raised in Beirut, Lebanon. I left in 1984. I came to the States, naturalized American citizen, joined the Air Force after college, ended up in the first Gulf War, served for 21 years, and retired in 2009 after doing the Maersk, Alabama hostage rescue, the Captain Phillips story and I uh, started off my own services company called White Mountain Research, and I run two nonprofits. I oftentimes carry a camera with me on my business trips or if I'm doing, you know, help for a nonprofit. And when I get to take a break, I capture something that moves my heart. My passion for photography started off, believe it or not, during the first Gulf War. I was flying combat missions back and forth, and I used to carry a camera in my helmet bag when I flew my plane. Every so often, if I was flying low level, I would try to roll the plane on its side and then take a, a shot with my camera. And it really, really picked up after I retired in 2009 when I finally said, okay, now I can truly focus on photography so I can buy more gear and then you know, at least study photography on my own and try to find my own, I guess, way of expressing myself. I have a photograph behind me, elephants at sunset in Kenya, walking through Masai Mara with a thunderstorm in the background. I was in the back of a Jeep yelling at the guy to stop the Jeep. In that moment in time, I took my phase one and captured that moment just the way I had it in my mind and I was able to come back and look at those details and print it in a 40 inch size platinum palladium print and for me it was just absolutely incredible because even from a distance I'm able to pick up the details on the skin of the elephant I can see every little detail that was exciting to me that was an extraordinary moment for me I do travel with other types of cameras, but when I really, really want to capture that moment, that landscape with those extraordinary key details, that's when I focus with my IQ4. Using a phase one for me is like, you know, jumping into a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Every piece in it has been well thought through. Everything's been put together in a way that it works perfectly to give you those tools that you need to create at a different level. That's exactly what I was looking for. I'm not the type of artist that takes a photo, prints it, and then, you know, tries to sell it. I oftentimes, I'll take a photo, I'll create, and I love to give gifts to people, so I'm always giving out my photography. And I love to see the expressions on people's faces if the, what I captured resonated with them or not. The core message that I'm aiming to communicate through photography is that we live in a beautiful world. There's a lot to explore and I encourage everybody to experience it as much as possible. It's not about accumulating wealth, it's about accumulating experiences in life, at least the way I see it.